الله الحمد لله نحمده حمدا كثيرا ونصلي ونسلم على حبيبه المصطفى وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, After I posted my first uh, episode uh, introducing um, my reflections on the Quran um, part one uh, some of my sisters and brothers asked me to introduce myself which is a difficult thing for me to do but um, they made sense they said you know we know who you are a lot of the uh, brothers and sisters who will be listening to you do not know who you are so you need you owe it to them to introduce them yourself so here it goes um, my name is Sami Shamma I am a uh, Palestinian American um, I currently live in the state of Connecticut uh, my current job is I am the Muslim chaplain in a maximum security prison in Connecticut for men uh, that's my day job um, I have done uh, many things in my life I worked in many industries um, some of the things I have done is I have been a professor of Arabic language I have taught both Quranic Arabic and modern standard Arabic at places like Trinity College, uh, the Hartford Seminary, Manhattanville College in New York. I also have taught um, other Islamic studies um, at a postgraduate level. I have taught fiqh, I have taught sirah, I also taught uh, hadith, uh, and also I taught uh, Islamic public speaking. And others. Um, one of the most influential jobs I ever took for a period of about two years was in Baltimore, Maryland. And I was asked by a sister of mine to become the Imam and the chaplain for her shelter for abused Muslim women. And I know the uh, the sound of it is kind of like alien that we do need to have and we actually have a shelter for abused women Muslim women in the United States of America, but we do. It's in Baltimore run by a wonderful sister and it's called Muslimat and Nisa. If you ever considered a, a donation to a, uh, a registered charity, I would strongly recommend um, the shelter for the unbelievable work that they do. That job really brought me face to face for what it is to actually do God's work, um, to actually work with those unbelievably um, uh, strong believing women who are actually facing some of the most uh, horrific trials and tribulations. Um, I also have been on the Khatib circuit, uh, people who go around Masajid giving Jum'ah khutbahs in Connecticut, in Virginia, in Maryland, and in Washington, D.C. Um, my educational background is quite eclectic. So uh, when I finished high school um, uh, in Kuwait, where I learned my first, um, I gained my first Islamic knowledge, uh, was on the hands of my father. May God have mercy on his soul. He was my first Islamic teacher. And then as a youth, as a young teenager, as a lad, I sat in the uh, circles of knowledge of some great scholars like Sheikh uh, Hassan Ayyub, Sheikh Al-Almani, and others where I started to receive um, proper uh, Islamic education. And then I graduated high school went to Syria to the University of Damascus where I enrolled in electrical engineering school. I lost it there for four years and then I left and came to the United States to continue the pursuit of my engineering education. But something happened. I attended the University of Houston and I fell in love with computers and computer programming and everything related to the subject. So years later I obtained my bachelor's degree in applied mathematical sciences. That was followed with many decades of work in multiple industry, predominantly in the IT business, but I also dabbled in construction 
and other related businesses. Then the calling came and I found myself needing to come back um, to learn more about my Islam. And with the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the generosity of several people, um, I managed to enroll at the Hartford Seminary. Um, and the first thing I did was I obtained a, a graduate certificate in Imam education. It was a brand new program. And I owe that to Imam Majid of uh, Adam Center in Virginia and some of the great scholars that worked at the Triple IT in Virginia. After I finished that uh, graduate certificate in Imam education, I immediately continued and I obtained my master's degree in Islamic studies and Christian Muslim relations, where I studied and concentrated on a couple of things, um, predominantly the uh, Muslims of Arabia at the time of the Prophet وسلم, and his interactions with them. And the language that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used and uses in the Quran, which will be some subject of uh, several of our future episodes, God willing. Um, I didn't stop as soon as I finished that. I continued and I obtained a postmaster's certificate in Islamic chaplaincy, um, which is the basis of the work I am doing now. And once I finished that, alhamdulillah, I kept on going, no break. And I registered for the Doctorate of Ministry program at the Hartford Seminary. And in, nine, in 2016, I obtained my doctorate in um, uh, Islamic chaplaincy related to the teaching of Quranic Arabic to imprisoned Muslims and the effect that had on, on them theologically, um, uh, spiritually, um, behaviorally, uh, once they were able to access the Quran directly in its native language. Um, so as you can see, I've, uh, I've jumped around from the sciences to the applied sciences to the pure sciences to Islamic studies. And that is uh, a brief uh, background on my work experience and my educational experience. Um, if you have any questions, please post them. Uh, please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.